Hey, I'm back. I stand again to nominate the experienced leader in our party who's contributed an immeasurable amount of time, energy, and knowledge to the cause of electing Democrats in Georgia. Having worked alongside Joe Trina for the last few years, I can personally attest to the work and dedication he's invested into building a network of well-informed, hyper-mobilized activists around the state. He's traveled throughout Georgia, assisting grassroots volunteers in their respective communities, as well as providing clarity and guidance about our charter, bylaws, and Roberts rules to prospective Democratic leadership. He's even recruited others to become candidates for party, office, and Congress. As secretary of this county organization for two terms, regional field director for the DPG, and organizer for grassroots operations in Georgia, Florida, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Washington State, he stands as one of the most experienced candidates to run for party officer today. Most notably, during his tenure as appointed program director and elected vice president of finance for the Young Democrats of Georgia, Joe earned awards for Program of the Year and Man of the Year, raising the bar and laying the foundation for a standard of efficiency and accurate reporting that still holds as a model to the organization. Fellow Democrats, in our next secretary, we deserve someone committed to upholding the highest standards of ethics, transparency, and adherence to our written bylaws. We need a secretary who is capable of reaching every county in Georgia, whether that be by providing support to existing committees or ensuring that developing committees get first-class correspondence and exemplar service from the executive level. We must expect officers to fulfill their duties without conflict of interest or absence. I can promise you that Joe Trina is the candidate to deliver. But I would be remiss if I didn't also touch on a larger theme that looms over these elections today, and that's about the window of opportunity in front of us. Now, more than ever, as we move into 2020 and take on the divisive agendas of the Republican Party, we urgently need to bridge the leadership of our party under a flag of shared work and responsibility in the resistance. This election today provides that window of opportunity. Elected Joe sends the message loud and clear that we as a party aspire to move forward with a unified front, reclaiming our democracy. It demonstrates that our party lives up to being a big tent with a beam of integrity at its center. It declares that we've accomplished great things, but we're still eager to aspire even higher with a winning coalition whose values of transparency and inclusion permeate every facet of our party. I know that Joe exemplifies these values, and that's why it's my honor to nominate my friend, our friend, Mr. Joe Trina, to serve as the next secretary of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Hello, Democrats. Uh, my name is Michelle Sanchez, and I'm so proud to second the nomination for Joe Trina to the Office of Secretary. When Joe and I met, I was running a race for State House against a Republican that otherwise would have gone unchallenged again. Um, thinking back to that defining moment, the encouragement, heart, and honesty of one person stands above the rest. Where others in and out of the party failed to show care or consideration, Joe provided a wealth of knowledge and tangible support. That's why when he asked me to run for vice chair of the Young Democrats of Georgia with him, I trusted and believed he would bring organization and campaign readiness to the team. I was elected and celebrated by my supportive friend, but YDG chose against making use of his talents as president. Having won a seat at that table, I, wit I witnessed what it would cost us in real time, money, and productivity. I also saw Joe persevere and overcome. This is what makes him an invaluable team leader and team player, even when the team is in crisis or at odds with its own values. More important than climbing a ladder or holding a title, Joe's passion for getting the job done in an environment that can perpetuate cults of personality or blind loyalty to money or power, Joe's independence of mind and spirit always calls us back to our bylaws and platform. And that's why I trust Joe in the role of secretary. I can always call on Joe and count on Joe. And believe me, if he ever wants to reach you, he is relentless. These are the qualities the DPG desperately needs in a secretary, without any hesitation to commitment and without any conflicts of interest. Please join me in wholeheartedly nominating and electing Joe Trainer for secretary of 
वरी की जय Thank you, Gabe and Michelle. I count myself incredibly fortunate to be in the family of the movement with you two and everyone here. My name is Joe Trena. Professionally, I have worked uh, in Georgia with the DPG, Human Rights Campaign, Trent Eastman's Congressional Race, uh, Primary in the 12th, the Abrams Paid Campus Operation, and in Washington State, uh, we worked to pass universal background checks on all gun purchases in New England, uh, worked to help elect the first of New Hampshire's First, openly gay congressman Chris Pappas, and in Massachusetts to protect trans rights in public spaces, as well as in Florida for the Gillum recount effort. Personally, I'm a father. I'm an immigrant. I help my mom's community gardens and beekeeping operation. Hey, mom. Um, I live in what's affectionately my hood of Harrisburg, in the heart of downtown Augusta. I'm running because I think the party ought to look and sound like who we fight for. Mm. Where I'm from, the message doesn't always reach and we end up fighting against folks that we need on the team in the movement. Now mine is not the only race today that is emblematic of a moment in our party, and I don't take this nomination for granted at all. In fact, I share in the spirit of our chair-elect that one shouldn't have to be arrested to address institutionalized malfeasance. But apparently, it happens to the best of us all over Georgia. My adventures of the last year have offered that it is not only not illegal to hold leadership accountable, it is preferable to those we have a fiduciary responsibility to. We build trust and grow in efficacy and fidelity to our constituents when responsive teams show willingness to go great lengths to maintain integrity. I have a clear set of agenda items to accomplish this as secretary. For one, a projected annual calendar so members know what execs will be settling dates for and what the bylaws actually obligate us to. Another is encrypting data and tracking its dissemination to make sure it's compliant. I will provide immediate correspondence receipts with 12 hour response time and a max of 36 hours as far as resolution turnaround for non-urgent communications. Right now that doesn't exist. That will change if I'm elected. I will publish email and make easily accessible minutes and make that the standard as well as my own perfect attendance. I will be doing my job if elected, not requiring staffers to. I will also be explaining my votes when cast, because the decisions we make at our business meetings affect and rely on congruent efforts from the state committee and the counties. If I've earned your vote, and even especially if I haven't, know that I am eager to serve you these next four years without any conflicts of interest whatsoever, as I will be dedicated to this position. If I don't win, let me congratulate the victor in advance and warn them that I'll be eager to hold them to their duties as well. <laughs> I have to finish by saying that when we cut corners or break from accountability, we make it more difficult to build coalition with those that need us most and who we need to win for and with. There are literally livelihoods and lives at stake and they demand us to be no less than our best. That's the level of dedication and commitment I would bring to the position, and that's why I'm asking for your vote. I see the rest of my time to the movements that need us, Democratic Party of Georgia. Black lives matter. Trans lives will not be erased. Free Eduardo Samayego. Free reality winner. Families belong together. Thank you.